At this point, I would like to introduce a couple of more tools that can give you insight into what your application is doing. New Relic and Rails Panel. I'll start with New Relic. New Relic is a SaaS tool that takes runtime metrics, both on the server side and the client side, in your Rails app and makes them available to you in an online dashboard. It has a free plan, but you'll get more out of it with the paid plans. New Relic is designed specifically to help you identify performance bottlenecks in your application when running in production, not just in development. There is a ton of information it'll give you. Just a couple of examples. Which requests are the slowest on average, and which requests spend the most overall time. The difference is that the slowest requests are the ones whose average time is the longest, but the ones that take the most overall time might actually have a very fast average time, but be hit so frequently that you would want to improve their performance anyway, because they're the requests taking up time on your servers that, is, that prevents the servers from handling other requests. Another thing New Relic can do is when there is a SQL call that's slow, it'll run a SQL explain on that call on the production machine. And you can see the explain results in the New Relic dashboard. And there is one sweet little bonus, more of a hack than a feature. For those of you who happen to be using Heroku's free tier for your hosting, you've probably noticed that with Heroku's free tier, your application sometimes gets swapped out. And then if you hit that application, it can take a very long time to load. I will show you a way to use New Relic's free plan to keep your Heroku instance alive without having to create a cron job on some other machine that keeps hitting your instance to keep it alive. After you've installed New Relic on a Heroku application, in order to hit it, you go to the Applications page on the Heroku dashboard and click the New Relic link. This is New Relic's main dashboard. It shows you way more information than I can explain in just a couple minutes. You should explore it on your own. But I'd like to show you the Transactions tab. This is where you can see the most time-consuming requests and the requests with the slowest average response time. As you can see, Courses Controller Show has is by far the most time consuming. This data is just based on me spending a couple minutes clicking around on the application after deploying New Relic, but normally you would use this on real user data using their usage patterns. If I click on Courses Controller Show, then I can see the information about that one action. And then if I scroll down, I can click on an individual transaction trace, one time that this action was hit, and see the information about that one trace. For example, you can see that the student link HTML partial was hit 459 times. You can click on SQL statements to see the list of all the SQL that was executed while rendering this page, and the total duration for each one and the number of times it was called. So for performance monitoring, it's hard to beat New Relic. There is one last thing I want to show you, the little bonus item I said that I would tell you, which is how to use New Relic to keep your free Heroku instance alive. If you go to the settings and then availability monitoring, New Relic has this feature where it'll ping your site every few minutes to see if it's still alive. And by doing that, it also causes Heroku to keep it swapped into memory so it never gets swapped out, and then you don't get that problem of having the really long startup time if no one has hit it for a while. The last tool I want to mention that gives you insight into what your application is doing is Rails Panel. This is a Chrome plugin, so the way you install it is you can go to the Rails Panel page on GitHub and scroll down to the link to the Chrome Web Store. When you click on that, it takes you to the Chrome Web Store. You can see that I've already added it to Chrome, but normally you would click on that to install it. And then the one other thing you have to do is go into your gem file and add a gem called meta request. Then you go to the command line, rebundle install, run your Rails app again. And now what you get is an extension to the standard Chrome debug panel. So I hit the page and I go over on the right to the Rails tab, and now it shows me that I have hit Home Controller Index, and it shows me a whole bunch of information about this request. Here, let me expand the panel so you can see more what's going on. So this is really nice. It shows me the params that were passed into the action. I can go to the DB tab and look at all the database calls. I can go to the View tab and look at all the views, and so on. Unlike New Relic, this is intended only for use in development mode. And also, this is more of a general purpose tool. It's not designed specifically for helping you with profiling. It just gives you insight into what the app is doing. 
but it's pretty helpful and it stays out of the way when you don't need to use it. 